Hey, welcome back to Evil's Comics. Uh, I'm Evil Mike, and this is going to be my new comic book pickups from February 22nd, 2023, and it is a huge week for comics. A big week. Let me get my thumbnail. You know. um, before we start, and I got a lot of books to show you, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it does help this channel. I love the, the interaction. Let me know what's your favorite out of the bunch. Um, so let's get started. I did was able to pick up the books that I left in my box from last week. It's a couple books, and actually one is missing. I don't know why. Um, Image Comics, I Hate Fairyland, issue number four. And I was supposed to have the... They had a not safe uh, version where it wasn't blurred out. Um, and somehow this one ended in my box. I think someone kind of went in there and was cover picking. Um, Ghost Rider, issue number 11. With that dope, you know, Danny Ketch coming in the background for him. I think that's what that is. Um, I'm not reading Ghost Rider. I'm just stacking it. All, you know. Uh, Marvel, this is a Avengers uh, issue number eight. It is the facsimile of uh, the first appearance of Kang. I've, I've been a big fan of Kang recently, um, getting into him. All right, so that's everything I'm, I picked up uh, that was in my box from last week. Um, I'm missing the Deadly Green. It was in my box, and this week it wasn't. I didn't like super search my shop, but for some reason it wasn't in my box. I don't know. Um, all right, so all these are the new books, and then I got a couple um, back issue bins that I picked up. So n no real particular order, but DC Comics, we got One Bad Day, Clayface, um, issue number one. They're all number ones, but I love this cover. I'm a huge Clayface fan. Looking forward to that read. And, um, a lot of the later issues I'm, I'm looking forward to in that series. DC Comics, uh, Lazarus Planet, um, I think this is the Omega, yeah, Planet Omega issue. I love this cover. I, honestly, there was a bunch of dope covers for this comic, but I, the, the fact that almost everybody's there, the only one that I couldn't find is Joker. And now this cover, man, this might be my cover of the week. This is a Black History cover for Wonder Woman 796 featuring Nubia. Man, that, if that isn't the cat's meow right there, I love this cover. Um, honestly, I love cover A too because it had Yara on it. I'm a big Yara fan, but after seeing Nubia like that, no, it's definitely a, a cover by even though I'm reading the book at the same time. Um, a book that I didn't know was coming out until like the Sunday or whatever, but I'm reading it anyways. Punisher War Journal Base, issue number one. This is, um, I think it has origins on how he got the powers or something like that. Um, don't quote me. Um, Marvel issue number one, Immortal X-Men, uh, Sinister, uh, Sins of Sinister tie-in. So far I'm digging uh, the whole Sins of Sinister thing, so I'm going to pick up everything for it, but it's not a long uh, event. Um, this cover right here, man, just makes me giggle. Uh, Harley Quinn, the animated series, Legion of Bats, issue number five, with the damn Dan Hip cover and I love that there's so many details um, the whole 89 like outfit uh, it's actually cats up that she's squirting and it's got a picture of Catwoman I, just, I, I don't know I love the cover um, Nightwing issue 101 featuring the Teen Titans that was really cool um, actually I didn't have any options on that so I was just happy to like that in general Jumping on board, uh, Superman issue number one, the Donna DC. I'm trying. I'm gonna try and grab everything Donna DC. Another fantastic cover and a Black History uh, Black History Month cover, but this is a uh, Black Adam issue number nine, and I'm forgetting his name. I think he's going by Bolt currently. Um, I'm forgetting his real name though. But oh, man, this cover is fantastic. I don't know if the, I'm hoping the glare. Um, another fantastic cover, but a Black History variant uh, for Star Wars Yoda and my dude Mace Windu, Samuel Jackson. I love, he's one of my favorite uh, Jedi, um, but simply due to the fact that he had a purple lightsaber. No, but it was Samuel Jack, man, who carried that. He did die, you know, in the movies horribly. We, we want to believe he's still alive. And, you know, Star Wars fans know what I'm talking about. Barbaric. Issue number two, Hell to Pay, the series. Uh, the first issue was really good. I'm looking forward to this one. Um, I have no idea what's going on with this cover, but I'm loving the series. But this is Boom Studios, Once Upon a Time at the End of the World, issue number three. And 
I, everything on this cover is brand new for me. It has not been featured in the book, so yeah, I don't know. And I do, did have two cover choices, and I thought that one was the cooler one, um, especially because I didn't know who that guy was. Marvel Tiger Division, issue number four. This has been a good series, but I'm kind of hoping it picks up in some form. But it is only, I think, a five-issue series, something like that. Um, the finale of this series, Marvel Comics, we got Deadly Neighborhood Spider-Man, issue number five, uh, with a fantastic cover of the Demon Bear. Um, we got, and I did, this was specifically for me and my brother, but I have been enjoying this issue. I think this is Deadpool issue number four. This is the Pym Particle variant cover, and uh, I did just see in Deadpool, Tiny, fighting all these little creatures, riding a pigeon. Hell yeah. My brother did get a K. He loves that cover. <laughs> He's a big Deadpool fan. Amazing Spider-Man issue number 20. I, uh, I So far, I'm, I'm behind one issue, but I have been enjoying Spider-Man. But it's it's the whole dark dark web you know event that made it good. So hopefully the 19 and 20 is good as well. DC Comics GCPD The Blue Wall. This book, this series has been fantastic. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the series finale. Um, and that that book has been touching on some real world stuff that was really dope. DC Comics number fifty two of Catwoman, another dawn of the DC. But this is uh, Ikio or Ekio Hasagawa. I know I mispronounced that name as Catwoman. Um, I think this is her first cover appearance, if I'm not mistaken. Um, you know, in the Catwoman outfit, because she has cover appearances, but you know, in the Catwoman outfit. Um, Flash 793, just a dope cover A. You know, the the minute where I'm still behind on Flash, but I'm still gonna keep picking up until eventually I can get to it. Now my girl, my girl. Okay, now Mirka, huge Mirka fan. So Dynamite Comics, Darkwing Duck issue number two. Again, I went with the Mirka cover. I love this cover. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, I I kind of like don't spoil myself. I know that she's doing a cover, but I kind of wait until that day to see what she does. And she hasn't failed me yet. This this cover, I knew exactly who the artist was. I did have some variant options, but not a lot. Um, but this was just the better one out of the bunch. But this is Dynamite Comics, Gargoyles, issue number three. And I love this artist. The second I saw this cover, I, just, I knew instantly, but that's Jay Lee. Um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the last issue in this series... And it was the last issue there, Boom Studios, Specs, issue number four, I don't know why. Um, I've been having a trouble getting Specs, but I got the whole series, yeah, it's done. Now I just gotta read it and review it. Um, Boom Studios, Damn Them All, issue number five. I think I'm like two issues behind on this one, but the, the first three issues were very good reads. They are very wordy, and be warned. Um, a fantastic cover for this Boom Studios. Something is killing the children. Issue number twenty-nine. I'm I'm still a huge fan of the series. The whole series, House of Slaughter, Book of Slaughter, Something is Killing the Children. I'm loving it all. Um, this cover it brings a tear to my eye. I, I just love this cover. It's, it's so simple, but yet oh, I'm loving this book. And I know I'm I'm a super fan, and not everybody else is a super fan. I know a lot of people are liking it, but. Okay, Image Comics plus issue number four, and I just love, I mean, you know, she's got the, the whole human ear. Oh, heck yeah, man. I love that. Um, and this cover, this is fantastic. Uh, Luetta Vecchio's Lovesick from Image number five, and uh, man, and there was some dope cover that there always are for this series, but this was definitely hands down my, my pick for this issue. Um, Image Comics Black Cloak issue number two, but it's a va it's a Virgin variant. Um, and uh, out of the two covers that I had to pick from, I thought this one was just a lot cooler. But cover eight was pretty cool too. Um, I would have been satisfied with that. Image Comics, we got Junkyard Joe issue number five. I am still behind on this, but I do plan to catch up, and when I do, I will review them because I have had a lot of people reach out. I'm wanting my opinion on it. Um, a Blaze Comics, we got the Boogeyman issue number six, and I think this is the first issue where I wasn't a big fan of, like, a super fan of all the covers. I went with, I think this is cover A. Um, it's not a bad cover, but I've enjoyed all the other covers a lot more. 
Okay, so I was able to pick up a couple back issue bins, and we were talking about this today. A couple of my my friends and my fans. I don't know. Um, I picked up Hardware Season One, Issue Number One, after reading Hard uh, um, Icon versus Hardware. I really and finding out that it's a more connected story. I definitely want to read, especially Blood Syndicate and Hardware now. So I was able to pick up Issue One and issue number two to get started and I think they do have three, four, five and they're not too expensive so I do plan on getting them. Um, now these are all from my brother. He was able to find these in the wild and he brought them home for me and they were all very nice. We got a free comic book day version of um, Malakia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, Warrior Queen Chapter 1. This one I was super excited about. We got DC Comics, Batman, Little Gotham, uh, free comic version, issue number one. I love that. I missed out on all the Batman, Little Gotham stuff. Um, this one is a huge series to a lot of people. Um, I've never read it before, but I know of it. I can't believe we found some of it in the wild. But we got Lenore, issue number three. And this is the fourth printing. Fourth printing, people. Um, and Lenore issue number nine and if I'm not mistaken I think this is a third printing um, so recent news we've heard that the ultimate universe is coming back and ironically my brother found quite a bit <laughs> it's kind of weird Marvel Comics presents and this is Machine Man uh, this is brand new for me I've never heard of this before but this is issue number eight um, it does say it has Vanguard Cyclops and Wolverine and Weapon Omega inside the book X-Men Legacy number 210, a fantastic cover. I never read any of the X-Men Legacy, not anything. And getting all the way up to 210 issues, it's amazing. Um, Ultimate X-Men issue number 91 of My Dude Apocalypse on the cover. At least I think that's Apocalypse. I never read the Ultimate series. Um, but like I said, he was able to find a couple different Ultimate books. Marvel Spotlight, The Ultimates, and I think this is just a free, like, I don't know, like a free comic book day version, I'm not sure. Um, and last but not least, I was able to, I, I picked this one up, but this is Harley Quinn, um, issue number 18, I was missing this in my, um, my Harley Quinn run. Um, but that's everything I got for you. Uh, let me know, uh, you know, what was your favorite out of the bunch? What are you most excited to read? Um, there is something else I like to say. If you ever want me to like go after a book that's about to come out, maybe in the next week or the next next week, FOC, let me know beforehand. You know, I usually do my list on Sunday. So if you're if you really want me to read and review something, and you want me to guarantee that I'm going to pick it up, let me know before that Sunday. You can either reach out to me on IG. Um, here on YouTube, you know. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you all have a great new comic book day. Please go out there and support those, support those local comic book shops. I will see you guys later. Bye!